Now, North Dakota is a world leader in agriculture and energy, so it's important that our state leaders have a seat at the table when it comes to federal regulation of those industries. And today, Senator Kevin Kramer is hosting the new Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, Administrator Michael Reagan, to meet with leaders and see what North Dakota has to offer. New today, Josh Many is live from Mandan to tell us how the tour is going right now. Josh, what do you have for us? Alicia, U.S. Senator endorsed Michael Reagan for Biden administration's EPA administrator pick back in March. Now today kicked off with a stakeholder listening session with state leaders and they talked about uh, Kramer endorsed Regan because he is committed to consensus and because he said he was going to visit North Dakota. Partnership between states and the federal government, right? And um, has an appreciation for what our founders had in mind with the design of a country, a federal government that's created by the states and, and federalism. So we had that discussion before his confirmation. We had this discussion during his confirmation. We've had that discussion since, and uh, I'm grateful for that. The other thing I'm really grateful for is he's a man of his word. He made a promise, and he's fulfilling it today. In my nomination process, I was going through all my calls and Senator Kramer landed on the list. And, and I saw, I called Senator Kramer and we had one of the best conversations. I thought it might have been adversarial, but it was about faith, family, and environmental stewardship. And so we had a really good conversation. We hit it off really well. And I think we've been doing a great job communicating ever since. Right now we're in downtown Mandan where Kramer and other state leaders are giving Michael Regan a tour of a Brownsfield site. The city of Mandan received a $300,000 Brownsfield grant from the EPA for environmental assessment and to revitalize downtown. Now later on KX we'll talk a lot more about important agriculture and energy topics including carbon capture and sequestration for both fossil fuels and agriculture with the aim of reaching carbon neutrality by 2030. Reporting in Mandan, I'm Josh Many. Alicia, back to you. Thank you very much uh, for that report, Josh. Very interesting, and it sounds like we have a lot to come. So thank you very much.